hailing from Detroit, now residing in Bel Air, the illusionist, Jarek 120. And we are back here on the West Coast Wrestling Connection. What a bombshell to start us off as Mike Camden essentially bounced from the Wrecking Crew. Essentially is a nice way of putting it. He is gone. He is done so with the Wrecking Crew. What a way to start the show. I, I'm still in shock over what just happened. I thought the Wrecking Crew was impenetrable. As Jarek 120 enters the ring, as we're going to get set for in-ring competition. I guess you should point out the top choice, Todd Royce is also here. I guess it should, it should have taken up two minutes to do that. You know, especially with what we just saw here, we're seeing exactly what happens when a team, a group, loses their manager, loses their management, with no, with nobody guiding them, it's falling apart. That makes a, a very excellent point. The grappler left, and now everything seems to be, well, things seem to be stable now, but there's quite a, quite a rip going on in the wrecking crew. So wait, are we saying there's an opening in the wrecking crew right now for a manager? There very well could be. Is Todd Royce out here again doing some scouting as He's going to take a look at Jarek 120. And his opponent. As well as his opponent. <laughs> no, no. Hailing from Pittsburgh, Spicy McHaggard. No, no, no. I am 100% out here to take a look at Jarek 120. You know, I'm Mr. Sin City. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. I see a guy like Jarek 120, and I think I can make a lot of money. With, I could help him make a lot of money as well. I mean, I could get him booked at Caesars Palace six nights a week, be back here in Portland every Saturday. What's wrong with Spicy McCaggan? What's right with Spicy McCaggan? I can't even say the guy's name. You What's wrong with him? Let's start with the skirt. You and Jeff Macon are very common in that. You can't say Spicy McCaggan's name. I don't want to say Spicy McCaggan's name. And I don't want to look at Spicy McCaggan. The temperature just got turned up here in Clackamas as it's getting a little spicy. As Spicy McCaggan's set to take on Jarek 120. Both of you guys, come on. Well, Spicy McHaggis, I, he's he's uh, he's he certainly won the hearts and minds of the WCWC faithful. Despite his win loss record not looking so hot, but how's he going to do here against uh, the Illusionist, the Magic Man himself, Jarek One Twenty, who's had some extensive training in his own right. What's that? What was that? Whoa! Where did that coin wow. come from? That is good. That is good. Great. Where'd it come from? That's talent. A well-known magician, in addition to professional wrestler, is Jarek 120. Now, we've speculated in the past. Is he genuine, or is it all smoke and mirrors? No, it's genuine. And he can prove it right now by making some of uh, Spicy's back hair disappear. That would be an improvement. Well, he wants more magic. He's asking for more magic tricks. Okay, he's, here we go. He's got the top hat. Is he going to pull a rabbit out of it? Perhaps some doves. Oh, it looks All like right. he... The card trick. All right, good old-fashioned card trick. You never know what you could see on a WCWC episode. You know, what's Aubrey Edwards doing here? No cards. No cards what? allowed in the wrestling ring. There's no time for card games in a wrestling match. We just got card blocked by the referee. No one wants to get card blocked. As Aubrey Edwards... Says this one's gonna be fair and balanced inside the ring. As what is he, what, what, wait, what, can we what, cut? Uh, can we go no. to commercial? What is what spicy about to pull out? Oh, what, what, oh. It, no! Oh my god, I thought it was something else for a the second. The spicy snake has arrived! <laughs> no, what? Uh oh. What is going on? What? Wait, whoa, whoa. Folks, what? I don't know what I'm about to see. I don't know what we have seen. Well, get that away from here. As whatever just came out of Spicy's trunks, oh, tossed to the outside. Could we never talk about whatever just came out of Spicy's trunks? I'm going to have to agree with you there. No, 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 no. no not from that end. No, not from that end. What? <laughs> and oh. oh, he drops the elbow on the ice cream cone. Show that ice cream who's boss, Jarek. Stuck. And Jarek launches that one by our merchandise and concessions. Okay, well now we're just getting into I guess it. it can't hurt Spicy to skip dessert. <laughs> As Aubrey Edwards there, 
Takes out the cuffs. What's a man need with that many chains? pairs of handcuffs? We've gone totally off the rails here. What, what the? Okay, okay. What, what isn't under Spicy's kills? Spicy has nunchucks. I think with Spicy, they're num num chucks. And are we finally going to have a match? Oh, there we go. Oh. You see? Well, I think he just made a, a ligament disappear with that shot block. And he takes him right out indeed. Jarek 120 disturbed his reality and took the advantage right there. That and, was beautiful. And you see that disturbed reality on the back of his tights. Oh, it's spicy. Takes him right down. Speaking of disturbing reality. Oh, no. Could be time for that. Whoa! Oh. Spicy Bob, one, two. Oh, what, what and, happened? And Jarek's hand under the bottom rope, he and Spicy's forced to break. We would do these disappearing puns all day. But Spicy, that, uh, very impressive for Spicy to start off so strong there. Once the action finally kicked into high gear, Spicy with a huge drop, all 330 pounds of him, dropping right onto Jarek who's wisely taking a powder here, taking a breather on the outside. As the referee administering her count, as Spicy McHaggis waiting for Jarek to re-enter the ring. And he's got him up now. Could be time for that airplane spin. All right, and the magic man's about to go for a ride. Time for takeoff. There's an extreme turbulence. And that traditional Pacific Northwest rocky landing as Jarek doesn't know where he is right now. I don't think Spicy does either. Oh, well, and Spicy, oh! That's oh, there it is. He gets caught with that knockout blow. One, two, three, and Jarek gets the win. Fantastic. The winner of this match, Jarek 120! So Jarek 120 picks up the win. Todd Royce, how impressed are you? with the Magic Man. Oh, I'm incredibly impressed. This is the only professional wrestler in WCWC that could legitimately fool Penn and Teller. And like I said, I'm trying to build an entire sports entertainment conglomerate here, and this man right here could absolutely get me exactly where I need to be. Now, Todd, you've been scouting talent in the WCWC for weeks. I'm really looking forward to seeing what your ultimate conclusion will be, who you recruit, who you sign on to, what, what's it called, a uh, top choice Enterprises? It's the Top Choice Collective. Got it. It's a collective of the greatest wrestlers in the Pacific Northwest. But like I said, not just the greatest wrestlers, the greatest entertainers. We could have, think about it, we could have a group of four minutes of heat plus Jared, plus who knows who else I'm going to pull out of there like it's something up a uh, spicy skirt. Or like out of a hat hurt, you might say. Todd Royce mixing up a concoction right here. But folks, don't forget about our big time main event. Mike Camden getting his rematch with Hammerstone. The Pacific Northwest title is on the line. But what shape is he going to be in after what we just saw with the Wrecking Crew? Oh. We'll hopefully find out when we come back from this commercial break. Well, I heard you talking about it. Did we fuck something up? Did we fuck up a continuity? No, he's telling us to get out. Yeah, no, that's what I thought too. No, I realize that. <laughs> Not your problem. <laughs>